Hey, Villa fam, you're back with two Village Girls for another eventful week of Honest Conversation. I'm Angela. And I'm Serena. And today we're here to tell you about Head Start programs and WIC programs. Yay! So, the first thing you guys are probably wondering is, what are these things? Like, what the heck is that? Can you tell the people about WIC? I sure can. So, WIC, if you don't know, it stands for Women's infants and children and this is a program that benefits caregivers of all backgrounds and they support moms dads foster parents guardians pregnant women grandparents and step parents the goal of WIC is to provide caregivers with a low to medium income with support and these programs are all over the place they provide healthy food um, breastfeeding support, nutrition education, and care such as immunization services, substance and domestic abuse, and social service options. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we recommend WIC to all those families that qualify. And how do you know if you qualify? WIC's qualification standards are if you are a pregnant woman, a new mom, um, up to six months after your delivery, you're a breastfeeding mom, if you have an infant, or if you're a child under the age of five. They have some income guidelines, which we'll get into in a second, and you also qualify if you have nutritional needs that you aren't able to meet on your own. Um, if you aren't able to meet those nutritional needs on your own and have a child under the age of five. Mm -hmm. And even though you may meet all these first qualifications, it's still possible to qualify for WIC even if you have a job or if you don't have a job, if you have a house or if you live with friends or relatives. Mm -hmm. um, you can be married or single. That doesn't really uh, impact your qualifications. Mm -hmm. And like we said earlier, it can be mom, dad, guardian, grandparent, yep. anybody else, as long as you're, you're caring for a child under the age of five. Yeah. So income guidelines basically are based on your family size and how much you're making. So check your local state websites and see where you fall in the criteria because I'm not, you know, able to tell you mm -hmm. yeah. directly where you might stand. And you can call your local WIC program and they can guide you with the income or on their website, you'll be able to see where the income is, but generally it's the family size and it says for each additional family member, add a certain amount of money towards that qualification. Okay. But so yeah, that's WIC. Um, how can you find these resources? Go online, go to your local social services. They should be able to provide you with the information. And yeah, it's important to use your resources. So WIC is free to apply to, mm -hmm. it does not cost you anything to apply. The worst mm -hmm. thing that can happen is they say no, right. but they provide all those different services that can benefit you and your young ones. Ooh, absolutely. Now, Angie, can you get into our Head Start programs? Yeah, of course. Um, Head Start programs uh, promote school read readiness for ages three to five. Mm -hmm. So most of these programs are in centers, but other programs could be in homes as well. So Head Starts include several different program types depending on that specific population in that community. For instance, in my community, there, there are a lot of Head Starts like the Y. Head Start programs engage parents and other key family members in positive relationships. So it has a, a focus on family well-being. That's great because just like last week we were talking about learning disabilities mm -hmm. and finding that support system, that educational support system. Mm -hmm. Head Start programs basically are like number one in finding that early support. Yeah. So the main thing that Head Start programs look at is early learning and development, health and family well-being. So those, those are the top three. How do you know if you're eligible for Head Start programs? Head Start programs are available at no cost to children ages birth to five from low-income families. 
Yeah, I mean, it's a free resource, right? Yeah, it's free to everybody. So it's, they also accept family and children who are experiencing homelessness and also children in foster care as well. That's great to know, especially for those that are experiencing low poverty to the point of homelessness, mm -hmm. because that's one thing that families have um, don't have to worry about because it's like, you know, homelessness, we could go into a whole new yeah. conversation about one of these days, mm -hmm. but that's good to know for those families that struggle with homelessness too. And finally, where can you find the Head Start program? You can easily just look up like Head Starts Near Me and mm -hmm. you can go in and do research. You can go and read about the specific Head Starts or if you're that type of person that needs to be researched before you send a child there. Yeah. So basically, if you just look it up and say Head Starts Near Me, you should be able to find it like that. Awesome. So Angie, why did we choose to talk about this today? Why did we want to talk about these different programs? So we wanted to let, let the village know about these different programs just in case like you guys haven't heard of these programs before because I know like it's a lot of daycare centers but I'm, I'm not a, I didn't know that it was a lot of still a lot of head start programs that are actually free that you can send your child to as well and get that same education basically. Absolutely and even working in the education field and working with children I didn't learn about these programs until mm -hmm. I was in the field. Yeah which is crazy considering that's what I've been studying this whole time. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. So yeah, use your resources, Villa Fam. Hopefully this was informational for you. And if you guys have any questions, let us know. Yeah. Okay, guys, we finally reached the end of season two. We are so proud. Yeah, excited. we are so proud and excited to be able to finish the season and be able to like just share the different things that we have learned and to be able to teach you guys and you guys use it in your own lives. So and you guys teaching us too. Yeah, absolutely that too. Yeah, so thank you guys for um, tuning in to season two. Please stay tuned to se season three. Other than that, thanks for the fan for tuning in again to another episode of Two Village Girls. As always, we want to send you out with some positive vibes to get you through the rest of your week. This week's inspirational quote is by Anthony Fauci, who says, Science is telling us that we can do phenomenal things if we put our minds and our resources to it. Thanks, Philip fam. See you next season. Bye. Bye.